anytime we had, you know, family gatherings, people were dancing hula. People grabbed an instrument and they were singing. Music was a blessing for all of us. My grandma had 12 children. My dad was number 11 of the 12. And so I had a lot of family. They're the ones that were scolding me. They're the ones that were there to celebrate with me. They're the ones who guide me. I just love that feeling that you get from knowing that you have people in this world who care for you and love you. So when you ask me to present myself, my cousins, my uncles, my aunties, that's me. That's who I am.
learning from my tutu Genoa was, you know, at the time I probably took it for granted. I was in high school. I just wanted to run through some songs real quick. It ended up being a two hour learn the history of the song, the background, keep singing it back and forth until she felt like I had the melody right. She always told me uh, when I got on stage, she said, you know, there's a lot of musicians when they sing, you can't understand a word they're saying. Sing clearly, enunciate your words. Yes, you have a beautiful voice, but you also have a story to tell. Another thing that was impressed upon me is that as soon as I step on that stage, it's no longer about me anymore. My job is to make each person in that audience feel something and smile and walk away with a memory. My grandma set a very good example for me that I, I hope that I am following. Tutu's parlor was a place of aloha. It was a gathering place. My grandma loved being around people. She welcomed everyone. I can remember a lot of her friends and our family coming in and being able to sit and talk. Tears, joy, hugs. That's what I remember. This is actually a magnified version of the parlor, and it brought me home. 
It's through the music that I'm able to connect and feel close to my kupuna. That's what the music is for me, stories of my ohana. You know, it's as if we're sitting in our parlor and she's telling the story. I'm in my parlor where I received instruction. I'm in my parlor for family gatherings and prayers. I'm in my parlor where we have memories of my kupuna who have passed. This is the place where I feel that I can gain the most inspiration to know who I am and where I need to go. If she were here, this would have been a very comfortable place for her to sit and just enjoy the music. That rocking chair was a constant in our living room, it was always there. And when people came to visit, Tutu sat in that chair and they sat on the couches. Engraved on there, you see the GK, her initials. I'm sure she was here. <laughs> 
It's always been behind me, but I haven't seen it rock yet. <laughs> I think all of my life experiences to this point have been helping me to find my voice. I've done a whole lot of things that you would consider left field. <laughs> I ran for Mrs. Hawaii. You know, I went to school for economics and I ended up in music education. When I go out and perform in front of people, I have more of a story to share. The music is the story of our people. When you understand the music and the stories, you'll be able to figure out more of who we are and where we come from and where we're planning to go. I love what I do, but I also love being a mother. And I love the work that I do with the youth and children, being able to instill that, that love for music with each of them. And I think that that's an important part of my voice.
I feel that sense of kuleana to continue something that was started before me, to carry on the legacy that she started. She knew that the music that she performed was not just her. One of the blessings that I received was being able to take on relationships that my tutu had and kind of inherit those connections. One of those people was Uncle O'Brien Aselu. I said, Uncle, but I'm not Genoa Keave. He said, no, you're not. You're Pomai Kailaimin. This is your kuleana. And it was at that point that I understood that I was going to be expected to carry on something that would help to uplift not only my own family and myself, but others around me.